going to drill down into spatial analysis and data science. Many of you have seen the results of analysis, like the one you see up here. But what happens behind the scenes before you can start to visualize, explore, and make decisions? The geospatial infrastructure for analysis is something we're going to touch upon. Very often, analysis starts with your data, because that's where all your true information can be extracted from. RGS works with all types of data, whether it be your raster data from satellite or drone imagery, or your big data stored in S3 buckets. It could be CSVs, ORC, or Parquet files. It could be a folder of shapefiles, or it could be your utility network contained in an enterprise geodatabase. RGS works with all of these types of data, and it can bring them together. And when it does that through the portal, you have a great way of organizing that into web layers, into web assets like web scenes and uh, web maps, and you can share and you can collaborate with those. Now, what happens at the back end starts off with a whole suite of engines. These are typically parallelized based on the work that you're trying to do. So you can expand RGS Enterprise, for example, with all of these. Like for real-time streaming analysis, you have the GeoEvent server. You have the GeoAnalytics server if you're working with large volumes of data where you have to do some batch analysis. Or similarly for raster, you have the image server. And of course, we have a lot more servers like geocoding, routing, and network servers. All of these are co-located with your data so that they can access the data and work with it quickly. In addition, we have a great experience, set of advanced tools, all available within Pro. And Pro is awesome for interactive analysis and visualization, like the spatial temporal analysis that you can do, space time cube, and so on. Today, like Sad announced earlier, we are very, very excited to announce hosted notebooks. They are coming within your GIS. It's a single click experience for geospatial analysts and for data scientists to bring all of your workflows into one place. The goal is to make you highly productive. What does that mean for a data scientist or for geospatial analysts trying to do data science? It means you can bring your analytic models in. Some of them are open science libraries that you bring in. You bring in your data, and you run all of these within the same environment because you have full control within that. And of course, with the advances with AI and machine learning and deep learning, you want to have all of those at your fingertips. All of that is possible within RGS notebooks. And of course, the experience is driven by Python, simple, very scripted, and it follows the standard Jupyter pattern, which is widely available and known in this community. So how does it all work? You have a Python notebook that you experience within a browser that calls into a notebook server. We are introducing the notebook server as a Docker container. So it, may, it makes it easy for you to deploy. It's sandboxed. But at the same time, it's co-located with all your other servers and your data. And it comes bundled with a whole suite of open source libraries. Open science is possible. Same thing with AI and machine learning, because it has TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch. All the ones that you see here are all bundled into that Docker container. 